Hello guys, welcome to the Train Parrot. Just like we say in the video yesterday evening, the liquidity at level 4 was the highest likelihood for market maker to take. We also said that we have this descending triangle that has a bias to the downside. We talk about trapping some longs at the top of the triangle as well. I was very clear, be careful with liquidity hands at the top of the triangle. We have a bearish bias in here. In today's video, we're not just going to brag about the outcome, but also we're going to try to understand where is the reversal then? If it's not this one at 67.1, where can we find the next level that the market market is currently targeting? We're going to have a look at that. And as usual, a bunch of other interesting stuff. Make sure that you don't miss it. Guys, if you like this type of content, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I put out one of these videos. And yesterday evening video made it to almost 400 likes. That is unprecedented for a video in the middle of the week. We also got over 100 likes on the old coins. So I'm really happy. Today we're going to push very cool content as well. Let's get to it. So as you can see, we broke down from this bearish triangle. We did take some of the early longs that entered on the breakout without waiting for confirmation, which is something that we always talk we never do. I remember seeing the RSI touching the conservative local target that we also discussed roughly at an RSI of 50. That was just for one minute in an intracandle movement when the price was roughly 67.8. And from that point of resistance, they decided to make the big dump. The movement has been so far 2.4%. So it's a little bit ridiculous to say it's a big dump. Probably the reason I'm thinking that is because this is also taking us into a global breakdown of the four hour time frame. What's next? I don't know, but the typical thing that we do right after doing something like this is to find some level of resistance, bounce back up maybe to 42 RSI and then head back down to the statistical level in here calculated with percentile nearest rank currently at an RSI of 25. So our new resistance is 42 and that is roughly 66.9k. So all these wicks that were holding the price are now going to act as resistance. Remember that we have this white line in here that we place it on the triangle in here and we are expecting the target to be somewhere between 65.9 to 65.4. 65.4 is located slightly beyond the red area that we are currently working on. We have taken pretty much half of it. There's still half left over on the bottom M starting from 66.1 up until 65.9. But the target of the flag says that we should go slightly lower than that, which is supported by the four hour liquidity, which shows the opposite as the scalping. This one says that the biggest liquidity starts from 65.3 to 64.7. So eyes on that. That's why I keep flipping between this. That gives me the short term detail. That's the scalping chart, which now I have on the 15 minutes, sometimes on the five minute. I just want to see stop losses opening by the minute, entering into the liquidity pools, potentially causing that algos from big wells decide to make a u-turn but the four hour is also a very good source of information because it not it's calculating the liquidity pools based on a longer term on stop losses that have been placed before and the tool does an aggregation that is also very relevant for the analysis below this there's no longer red unless we zoom out long enough and then the red turns into yellow meaning that 61.5 is a lot larger than what we are targeting right now notice that i say targeting that means there is a high likelihood of, of hitting and taking this otherwise why bothering to come back down here breaking down below the support but in trading nothing is guaranteed so that is the new resistance 25 it's just an interesting level based on statistics as i say before and that is located at 65.2 so statistics are saying that we could come down there at around 65.2 which is in the middle of now this yellow area that before was in red you can see it right there 
Once we do that, we are basically breaking the structure in here. Assuming we get there, then we have a lower low relative to this peak in here at RSI 30. The way I interpret that is there might be a little bit of more turmoil in the way if this target ends up playing out. Notice as well that we left this orange line in here at 65.7 that came from the analysis of the megaphone pattern on the weekly we have this high closing price right after the three white soldiers pattern that we can see on the candles in here they close at 65.7 then we have a small rejection with a test of the bull market support band by the way guys i offer you for free the code of the bull market support band that's an indicator that benjamin cowen loves to use he openly explains that this are two moving averages a simple one an exponential 21 and on the weekly very simple but if you don't have experience coding or you haven't been able to find it somewhere else just go to my telegram channel the link is in the description scroll up just a couple of posts and you're gonna find this one that's the link that is gonna take you so you can copy paste the code and then run it on your own trading view account on the daily time frame on the day it seems that this candle is not holding the point of control if we close it like this today that is not a very bullish sign because being in the range between the point of control and the blue line in here which is the bottom of the range based on the volume profile means that we are kind of in a downtrend not from the point of view of the structure necessarily but people tend to split the range into two areas below and above point of control so hopefully we're just gonna do our business here very quickly and come back above it very quick that will kind of save the day or the week on the RSI channel on the daily we seem to be on our way to the bottom of the channel once again open interest is still above the top of the range that we never managed to break above so somehow this move down hasn't been able to flash enough longs like it has done in the past and that is thanks to this movement being quite mild relative to these big candles of damp that we see in the past notice that here you have one two three four red candles weekly collapsing the price in here you have one two three four then you have just one big one and then two smaller ones and then just one in here and now we have one and the green is still engulfing it i'm just trying to point out that up until now the direction seems to be going away from the bearishness of the past within this range which is still something good what i'm not liking it to see is this small but steady selling from long-term holders getting close to potentially a 30 percent sell from what they accumulated from july the big wells seem pretty convinced to continue withdrawing now this is pointing down that's a good thing you can see now how futures position are closing spots continues to go down i'll let you know if any of this changes anytime we're getting closer to macd bearish cross in there in the previous range from those tops having that has never been something good so hopefully those big wells that are withdrawing are gonna change something in here and right now right now i'm seeing the candle of the dxy hitting our target of rsi 57 before i started shooting the video this wasn't the case so that means that the dollar is pumping indeed it's making a very fast move zooming in a little bit more i can see that the actual level of resistance is 57.87 so it's a little bit more towards the 58 sorry but i'm gonna have to do an amendment in here and if we do that we still have a little bit of headroom to run until 104.5 instead of 104.3 so just a little bit further away is our actual resistance from the weekly downward sloping trend line which hopefully hopefully is going to reject this pump from the dollar index that's definitely not helping bitcoin if we were to see a breakout in here with a retest in a pump that is not going to help risk on assets because they are needing to run against the dollar and the dollar is becoming stronger not a good thing if that happens i'll keep you up to date on all of these things if you follow me on telegram instagram or twitter 
gold is running like crazy at the moment. It has actually invalidated the bearish divergence that we had before. It has broken my forecast of mid-October being the top. It's doing something different to what it did in 2020 based on these candle patterns. Instead of topping there and coming back down, now it continues running longer. Nasdaq has been creeping up to try to overcome the all-time high in here, but it hasn't managed yet. Possibly today, thanks to this green candle, we might have some news on that, but it's going to be pretty difficult to Nasdaq to undo this potential bearish divergence, right? We have a double top and the RSI is coming down. It, I'm not saying that Nasdaq cannot run against a bearish divergence, but certainly it has some bearish effect on the price. And once again, this week, we are testing the support on the weekly RSI on Bitcoin, currently slightly below the support. The stochastic RSI is still with the mouth open. Hopefully by the end of the week, that's still the case. That support from the RSI weekly was at 66.7. We are now below it. The next level of support from the weekly perspective is at 63.4. That came from a value of RSI 52, which we said, hopefully we reach only 52 and that's it because that gives us a same low in here, which is not as bad as if we start breaking the structure, putting a lower low on the RSI. And that's why we are monitoring that as well here in the price with the red line. So let's start talking about liquidity pools once again. We have this remaining liquidity in there on the scalping chart. There is some green liquidity up until 64.4, which supported by the longer term on the four hour makes a lot of sense to take that out. An interesting level is popping up on the three month using CoinGlass, which is 61.6. That is in confluence with the liquidity pools. When we zoom out here, that's 61K. And again, another day we remain in the grid with 71. That is not great reversals. I want at least to go to neutral or into some fear. It seems like the price needs to be doing a little bit more to get us out of the grid, at least for a moment. And there's definitely loads of fair value gaps in here to the downside to do the trick. We got 65.8 and we have a big chunk at 64.8. So if price was to go beyond that, it could go to 63 and take this fair value gap in just one sweep. Yesterday we talked about this liquidation at 68 that's still there. That's a very good candidate for a dead cat bounce. You can see that is the most significant one in the past 30 days. Those are all the shorts that are currently counting victory. Let's see for how long they can do that. Our wall of selling at 70k has gone from 97 million roughly a week ago and now it's at 84 million. You can see that both of the larger whales, the brown ones and the purple ones have not started buying yet. And here is a pretty cool alpha. I don't know if this is going to play out once again. Look at the lower end of the screen. And you have this indicator that shows the net longs and shorts delta. When there's too many shorts, we can put a trend line in here and find each and every time as we go up in the price, less shorts enter. That's because there is a shift in the sentiment. We talked about this yesterday. Yesterday we were roughly below the zero line somewhere in here and we were talking. Let's look at when we get and reach finally this trend line once again. And you can see that you might find a bottom somewhere when you are testing the trend line, sometimes slightly below it, but there's clearly an area of interest where you have to put your eye and think, maybe that's a great area to start buying and being contrarian to all these people. Of course, that is assuming that we don't break down this trend line and we start once again building a new pattern like this. But let's see tomorrow if this is actually holding. We could stay a little bit longer in here, maybe even flip below it and eventually break out this trend line. At that point, the price will have already bounced a little bit. 
because every single breakout that you have is not the bottom, it's more or less the recovery area, sometimes even half of it, sometimes two halves of the recovery already. That's why this is a hot area to put attention. One thing that I'm missing here is that we are still not seeing negative funding rates. That's typically when too many shorts enter, that signals a reversal to the upside. We have been at pretty low levels of funding rate, but still not as low as in here. Here. When you reach those levels, you can start looking for confluence on other indicators and get pretty decent bounces. Still a little bit to go to get into the negative. I'll let you know if we see that on social media as usual. And this is actually good news to see that the delta is becoming even more red. Right now it's at 126 below it. Before we were just at 30, at 60. We reverse when the longs were exposed at 70. And sometimes this delta can reach even 500 or 1000 in extreme times. But seeing red, it means that the shorts are getting more exposed and the liquidation levels are shown at the top. For example, this line in here is pretty high and that's the 68 liquidation that we talked about earlier. And as I promised yesterday, when I was showcasing in the evening video, these different indicators that I built in the past, together with some that I took from other people that I used to use a lot and that are all pretty interesting. And in today's video, Thanks to your comments, the one that was mentioned the most was the PNR filter applied to Bitcoin. In the upcoming videos, I will continue to review the rest of them. This is the original chart and I'm going to leave a link also in my Telegram channel so you can copy the full chart. This PNR indicator, the version is quite old, it probably was the first version that I built. So I'm going to show you how to use it, how to get the same signals that you're seeing on the screen, which by the way, are pretty good signals. As I mentioned in yesterday's videos, these are probably la creme of the creme of entries, not just in the bull market, but also in the bear market. Every single rally pretty much is preceded by one of these green bubbles. So where to get it? You go to TradingView, you search by PNR, you're going to find this one called TTP PNR filter. It already has 139 likes. Just click on this, it's free, it's open source. It's going to look different than the one at the top. As I say, this is the newer version. And in order to get the same signals, you can see that by default, you're not going to get this one. Just change the percentile to 3%. And that's it. That's how you get it. I'm using it on the daily time frame. I'm on Bitcoin against USDT on Binance spot. You can use it with every single asset. You can send alerts. The most recent signals were in here and in here. Look at how the percentile nearest rank is approaching the price. And eventually when this crosses below, you get a buy. You also got a buy here in September. So you don't miss this rally. You got a buy in the bottom of the bear market. You might think possibly that these signals in here are not good because the price is so shallow, but actually that give you a 13% in the middle of the bear market. And that is pretty much all you were able to squeeze during this price action, right? You get also these entries that give you 26%. You got these entries that give you only 5% before another crash. In here, you rally to 48K on Bitcoin with 32%. This one is a very insignificant with only 3%. This one gives you 116. This gives you 1,200%. You get the point. It works really well on Bitcoin. On Ethereum, it's not an exception. On ADA, it's all over the place, but that's not the fault of the indicator. What a pretty shitty asset is ADA, but that's, there's no way to fix it really. I just received this morning a notification that there is a substantial injection of liquidity in the market. And this is a candle that is in progress. My alert triggers halfway through a candle completed. This is a weekly chart and we are on Wednesday. So this is just a heads up. The candle went up in terms of liquidity coming from China. It's a higher high, 150 versus the previous candle, 120. So it's starting to look a lot more like the previous heels that we have in here that were responsible for the previous rallies of Bitcoin. So seeing this, you can imagine if we were to continue on this trend, we could build another hill like that and then get another pump. 
This is consistent as well with the news that China is in need at the moment to inject liquidity to save their economy. And Bitcoin is a hoover of liquidity. One alert though, since we are in the middle of the week, if they take away that liquidity, sometimes I have seen candles on this indicator from TED Talks macro to get adjusted. It's probably using some sources of data that prints multiple times in the week and it could print some candles up and then some candles down and then we might end up the week with this candle reverted back below the median. In that case, this will be a false alarm, but it's good to get notified of things early in the week to start paying attention because if a rally starts on Bitcoin and the candle settles, you will know why it's happening. Have you heard about Bluffin Exchange? A couple of weeks ago, I opened two accounts on Bluffin. It took me five minutes to open. I never seen an exchange that makes it so easy to sign up, deposit and get to trade with leverage. I didn't even need to use any KYC. They don't ask for it in any country. I talked to them and I managed to negotiate 10,000 bonus depending on trading volume and the lowest fees to trade if you use the link in the description. If you already have an account with them, have a look at the other products I have in the description. I have a pretty substantial bonus on Bybit of $30,000 if you look, if you are using this link in here. You get again discounted fees and if you trade enough you can claim a trading parrot subscription for free which is going to give you access to over a hundred premium indicators as well guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the afternoon in the next update of bitcoin bye bye